we're gonna get going because okay we're gonna see what they say later do not i repeat wear pajamas and bonnets outside the house what's up y'all it's your girl z welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for all my new subscribers and all the love i've been seeing on my recent videos and let's just go ahead and start this video right by liking it and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed hit the red button the red button right below um so there's been so much going on and i gave y'all a little time to get settled into 2021 before i brought stuff like this to y'all but it seems that when 2021 comes, people have so much to say about what folks need to do. And I saw this. I don't know who it came from. It seems that everybody want to say it came from somebody, from a friend and people just sharing it. Just say, I said it. This how I feel. And keep it pushing. Either people going to like it or they ain't. But yeah, when you watch my video, you're going to see exactly that. It's me. It's Z. Okay. Queen Faith. And this, these are my thoughts. And you're going to either like what I got to say or not like what I have to say. In 2021, how about we say what we say and keep to it? Say, I said what I said in your Nimi Leaks voice and keep it pushing, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and read it to y'all. Ladies, in 2021, take better care of yourself. Appearance is a big part of self-love and self-care. Set nail appointments, hand and toes, every two weeks. Fill in styles and color change often. Do not, I repeat, wear pajamas and bonnets outside the house. You did not repeat that. You were supposed to say, do not, I repeat, do not. Okay, whatever. That's just me being petty. Buy you some cute head scarves, headbands, and whatnot for those bad hair days. Buy you some leggings and cute tops for your in and out store and errand runs. Baby, you only get one first impression. Okay, sis, one. Prioritize and put up at least $50 from each paycheck. Save, save, save. Stop hugging the bed, playing dinner dates, even if you got to go by yourself. I know that's right. Free your mind. Stop stressing and stop worrying. Because you got to hand it to Jesus. They ain't say that, but... Start praying every morning, noon, and night. Okay, Daniel, y'all trying to get something from God? Manifest that new house, new car, new mind. It's yours. And then they said repose, keep it going. Copy it from a friend's page. So, 100% agree. Please take care of yourself in 2021. Please. Okay? But how you take care of yourself is not based off of what they, <laughs> what they put in this thing at all. Hey, you take care of yourself. Only you know. Only you know what you need mentally. Only new, only you know what you need as far as your love life, as far as your money, as far as anything else. Only you know. But let's get into it. Appearance is a big part of self-love and self-care. Okay. Set nail appointments, hand and toes every two weeks. Fill in styles and color change often. I'm going to skip down to the part that I want to bring back to the nail thing. Save at least $50 from each paycheck. When the last time y'all went and got your nails done? Because they said to get your nails and toes done every two weeks. That means twice a month. And if you're doing all the stuff that they tell you you need to do, you're going to spend $100 every time. You spending two hundred dollars in the nail salon, yet they telling you to save fifty dollars. At the same time, spend two hundred dollars. Y'all know that's most people get paid twice a month. I only get paid once, but most people get paid twice a month. So you want them to save a hundred dollars a month while spending two hundred dollars on them nails and them feet, right? That's $300 gone from the paycheck while folks still got to pay rent, pay their phone, light, water, car note, insurance. It's all these bills out here. So, 
either this was written by someone who is being taken care of by the government, by a man, by a parent, or it was written by somebody who has bukus of money. So that's what that's the thing I hate. I hate when people come and they want to tell people how to live their life when they already make it, when they've already made it, or when they ain't even close to making it and ain't taking care of their own responsibilities. $300 is a lot to tell somebody that they got to put a certain place every single month. And y'all, that ain't it. Because if that's what you do, that's your business. I very much so used to do that. But guess what I said? I said, you know what? I'm getting my nails done, my feet done all the time. And I'm not seeing this money ever again. And that's why I started investing in stuff. But that ain't what this video about. But I'm just saying, there's no problem if that's what you choose to do with your $300 every month. So be it. But $300 a month is $3,600 a year. And the average black woman... This post was directed towards black women. Don't try to tell me nothing else. The average black woman is not making a whole lot of money. We are below when it comes to salary. They give us the, the crumbs in the past because not in the future. They ain't going to be giving me no crumbs. But on average, the black woman isn't making that much money. Therefore, you asking a black woman to shell out $3,600, mind you, $1,200 is in savings. $2,400 for them nails and them feet. And guess why they got to do it? Because, baby, you only get one first impression. Y'all, now we doing this to impress who? Not a man. Y'all, not a man. Y'all lying. A man? You spend $2,400 to impress a man. That ain't it. That's just a bare minimum what they, what they want y'all to spend. Anyway, let's continue on. Before we continue on, I made a whole video about how you ain't got to do nothing to get no man. And all y'all that's watching this know you ain't got to do nothing to get no man because y'all know plenty busted people got men. Busted people got men. Fine people got men. Busted people taking fine people men. Come on, y'all. Anyway, continuing on. Do not, I repeat, wear pajamas. And yes, I'm going to roll my eyes every time I read that. Sis, you need help. But anyway, wear pajamas and bonnets outside the house. Why? Who I'm trying to impress, what you don't understand is, sometimes we're trying to go get what we need to get and come right on back in. And if I don't feel like doing my hair, I am not required to go buy some cute head scarves headbands, or whatever for my head. No. Everything is not a fashion statement. And I do not always have to put my best foot forward. I put the foot forward. I feel like putting forward every single day. Okay? Because y'all doing too much. Because will I be at, in a bonnet? No, I don't own a bonnet. In a head scarf? Yes, I will. And my mama say stuff to me about it all the time. But I be out here in my head scarf all the time. Wear a scarf around my head quite regular and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and it does not mean that you ain't putting your best foot forward either it means you protecting your style <sighs> y'all <sighs> buy you some leggings and cute tops for your in and out store and air runs first of all Leggings is not putting your best foot forward. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you that right now. You can find some cute leggings, but guess what? You can also find some cute, some cute pajamas, some cute joggers. You doing too much, and ugh, 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 like. And then for you to say, baby, you only get one first impression. Child, plenty of people steal your man in their pajamas and headscarves. And guess what impression they worry about giving? None. Uh, I apologize, y'all. They messing with me today. But listen, 
In 2021, take care of yourself. If you really about saving money, then you know you don't need to get your nails and your hands done, fill-ins and styles and color changing every two weeks. If you was really about saving money, they make some very good press-on nails that are much cheaper than going to get your nails in that nail salon. But y'all ain't want those, do you? But y'all, listen. Prioritize and put up at least $50 from each paycheck. Please do. As a black community, we need to spend more of our money on things that will help us. Because not being prepared in hard times is not the business. And that's how it goes. Like if you go and you look up how much money black people have just saved up or just sitting around, folk, you find out folks be flexing. Because it's real close to zero. Now some people have money, but the majority of people don't. Um, so I agree. Make sure you save. Save you some, okay? Because nobody promised that trouble wouldn't come. We just, God just said that it wouldn't last always, okay? So be prepared. Don't be silly. Stop hugging the bed. Plan dinner dates, even if, even if you have to go by yourself. Absolutely am here for going on dinner dates by yourself. But I'm absolutely here for having dinner dates at your house on your couch by yourself too because <laughs> you can go get you some food and bring it back to the house some people are just homebodies and you can't make them go out now if you really set on finding you a man you might need to get outside your house but not during COVID-19 start praying every morning noon and night yes pray to God Jesus Holy Ghost Holy Spirit morning noon and night and when you pray, don't just go pray asking for stuff. And speak positively over your situations and over your circumstances. And stop all that negative talk about everything. Don't say, oh, something always going on. Because the more you say something always happening, the more things continue to happen. Things don't just always happen. And things aren't going to stop happening by you saying that they happening. You have to speak what you want as opposed to what you see it's called what faith but yeah y'all i didn't disagree with everything that she said um but i disagreed with quite a few things and i didn't necessarily disagree with the things i more so disagree with why you were doing the things and we ain't doing nothing to impress nobody we impress ourselves first okay and if you impress with yourself walking out with your hair scarf and your pajamas on, guess what, sis? You winning. It's 2021. It's time to embrace who you truly are as opposed to trying to embrace who somebody else wants you to be. Okay? But that's all I got for y'all today. If you have any contrary opinions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will definitely respond. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and share it with everyone you know. Until next time.